Hello guys, it's James here from Inside United and welcome here to today's match review of Manchester United's last game of 2015 against Chelsea at which finished 0-0 at Old Trafford today in the Barclays Premier League. Oh, another poor draw. Well, actually it wasn't a poor draw today. Every time I think of 0-0 I think poor draw, but actually it wasn't a poor draw because United actually gave it a go. They had energy, they had pace about them, they had intensity. They played well, I thought that was one of our best performances of the season, but again, I can't be happy. Okay, the performance was there, but the result wasn't there again. We drew nil nil, two more points dropped in my opinion, and that means that Tottenham have gained an extra two points and us. Arsenal have gained an extra two points. Uh, City have gained an extra two points if they win their game. Liverpool have gained an extra two points. We're throwing it all away. I mean, this is a Chelsea team who haven't been playing well at all. I mean, a couple of months ago, everyone was playing Chelsea and beating Chelsea and wanting to play Chelsea. We come around to play against them, we come away with 0 0. I mean, if they had been beaten 1 0 against Bournemouth and, you know, the form they're in, we should be winning that. And that's just the frustrating thing. We had a fast tempo. You know, Matter hit the bar, Marshall hit the post. You know, we were playing with pace, we were playing with confidence, we had the fight in ourselves. We were, you know, it looked like we we're actually playing for um, Van Howe and maybe he hasn't lost the dressing room, which was one of the questions I was asking in the Stoke game. Herrera has the best chance, he's got the score, it's a great ball in from Marshall from the wide, comes into Herrera, he gets enough on it, but I don't know how Courtois provides the stop there, and what a fine save that was, and then, well, Rooney again, what a chance, I mean, what is he doing, he's getting all his money to score goals for Manchester United, and he just can't do it, what a chance, that should be 1-0, and we'll be coming away with 3 points here, and that is a nice way to end 2015. You know, we're all over them, 0-0 with 20 minutes to go. And he takes off Mata, one of the most creative players in the team. And then he also brings on a defender, he brings on Boffwick Jackson. Don't care if Diamond's just come back from an injury. You know, he should be able to see out an extra 20 minutes, especially when we're attacking, not defending. You know, we want to win this game. I just think Lee Van Hal's subs today were a bit wrong. I think that that is partly his fault, you know. Also, I don't think he urges the team enough. He just sits in his seat, seat and that's the thing I don't like. So it was a better performance. I think I have to agree with that. It was one of our better performances of the season. But again, it's a poor result. You know? This team has been beaten by everyone recently. I mean, they're like 14th or something. You know, we were we weren't clinical. We've said it very many times. We didn't take our chances. We weren't clinical. That is two more drop points. Because really, Chelsea, they're 14th. I mean, that doesn't matter how good of a team they are. It doesn't matter what. Now they've got a new manager. They are still a team who are sitting 14th. They're still a team who are struggling at the end of the day. It doesn't matter if they've got a good team. Because at the moment, they're not looking like a good team. And really, bear in mind they had no Diego Costa today. This was the chance to go and beat Chelsea. And it's another 0-0 goal as blank. That's blank. That's now eight games without a win. I mean, if it if we come away from a 0-0 after six games, I'd be fine with that, to be honest with you, mate. I mean, there's worse results than a 0-0 at home, get at home to the champions. But then, it's just the fact how we then, before the game, we lost four in a row. Now, that means that we've now gone eight games without a win. I mean, we spent 250 million on this team. And we don't have a prolific striker, we don't have someone who takes those chances, creates those chances, scores goals, and that is the problem. I mean, look at Agarlo at the moment, he scored like 13, 14 in the Premier League, Vardy's got 15, Mahrez has got like 12. They're scoring goals, Kane's also getting the odd couple, Drew's getting the couple as well. We don't seem to have anyone who seems to score on our pitch. And it's not just one of those days, like we keep saying, oh, it's one of those days, it'll come good. It's not, because we haven't won in our last eight. I mean, we keep drawing nil-nil at home. We drew at home nil-nil to PSV, uh, Newcastle, uh, Middlesbrough, Man City. It just gets repeated and repeated and repeated by time as well. I mean, that Chelsea team is, sh is in shambles. I mean, they've just sat Jose Marino, what everyone thought was a special one that was going to manage for a decade. You know, they're Brennan Gus Hiddink. I mean, they're poor. They're very, very poor at the moment. That was one of the weakest teams I've seen Chelsea feel for ages. They didn't have a striker. They were playing Hazard, who hasn't scored for like 25 games up front. I mean, we deserved it today, but we can't take those chances because we don't have a clinical striker. And we've taken two out of our last 15 points, and we've only taken two points in December. 
one nil, one none, drawn two, lost four. Six nil nils in 14 games. That is awful. I've got the last 15 games for you. 1-1 one, one draw, 0-0 nil, nil, draw, 0-0 nil, nil, draw, 0-0 nil, nil, draw, 1-0 nil, win, 2-0 nil, win, 2-1 win, 3-0 win, 1-1 nil, one, one, draw. They're good results. 0-0 nil, nil, draw, 3-2 loss, 2-1 loss, 2-1 loss, 2-0 loss, 0-0. Nil, nil. How many nil nils and defeats are there in our last 15 games? It's, it's, it's just awful. And I do think Van Hal has to take some criticism again. We played well, but we didn't take the chances. And at the end of the day, we've got players who will score goals. The problem is, I don't think they're confident enough in taking the goal. Van Hal is very arrogant. I mean, I, I don't know if that's going to save him. I reckon he's going to go out the club. I tell you what, if, if we don't beat Swansea, if we don't win our next three games, I think, Van Hal, it's time for you to go out the door. That's not a bad result, but we deserved all three points. This team aren't a very good team at the moment. It's a bit disappointing, but thanks for watching this video. See you later.